Shalom. Today we're going to start a new series on the five scrolls. In Hebrew it is called Chamesh Megillah. In Hebrew, the Bible is referred to as the Tanakh. This is an acronym. Each letter stands for part of the Bible. The T, Tav, stands for Torah, which is considered to be the five books of Moses. The Nun sound, Nun, stands for Nevi'im, which are the prophets. In Hebrew thought, the prophets begin at Joshua, include Judges, the two books of Samuel and Kings, then three of what we consider to be the major prophets, Daniel is not included in the prophets, and also the twelve minor prophets, which are the same. The kuch sound uh, at the end of Tanakh is for the kaf, which is ketufim, which are the writings, which begin with Psalms and Proverbs and include Job. Daniel is included there, the books of Ezra and Nehemiah, the Chamesh Megillot, which we are going to be talking about, and also the Bible ends with First and Second Chronicles. These Chamesh Megillot, there are five special books, which are from the Ketuvim, which are from the writings. They are included in a standard Chumash. A Chumash is a book that is used to track the Torah and Haftarah readings throughout the year. The uh, traditional one-year cycle of the Torah readings takes the five books of Moses and divides it into 54 sections. Uh, each week, one or two sections are read, and so they complete the entire five books of Moses in the course of one year, traditionally beginning at trumpets, which uh, is considered to be the new year in the Jewish calendar, and ending in the prior month. Chumash, you can hear, sounds like chamesh. It also comes from the word for five. The Haftarah readings are all from the Nevi'im, from the prophets, as we have already said, but that starts at Joshua and continues through the end of the twelve. These Chamesh Megillot are the Song of Songs, Ruth, Lamentations, Ecclesiastes, and Esther. Each one is read at a special time of year. The Song of Songs is read around Passover, uh, depending on your tradition, either during the week of Passover or the week before, the Shabbat before. Ruth is read at Shavuot, at Pentecost. Lamentations is read on the 9th of Av. Ecclesiastes is read on Sukkot, or Tabernacles, and Esther is read at the time of Purim. These are sometimes called the women's books. The theme of the Song of Songs is the love of the bride for her bridegroom, although the bridegroom and also some friends appear in the dialogue. It is mostly about the bride. Ruth and Esther are obvious. You can see that they are books about women. The other two books, you have to look in Hebrew to see that the names of these books are feminine, in spite of how they appear in English or other languages. So in Hebrew, Lamentations is Echa, and if you know enough language, you can see it ends in He, so it's a feminine ending. Ecclesiastes is Kohelet, and even though it's about the preacher, and Ecclesiastes in Greek is a masculine noun, for some reason Solomon chose to call this Kohelet, which is a feminine noun. As I was thinking about the fact that there were five of these and five books of Torah, I thought, well, there must, there must be some correspondence between these five books and the five Megillot, the five scrolls, and the five books of Torah. Uh, when we continue in the next lesson, we'll see how these kind of line up a bit and we'll cover each book with uh, each scroll with each book from the Torah.